Hey friends, today I'm going to be talking about snowball corners, which is when you have a full piece of fabric and then you have this cute little triangle down in one of the corners. So traditionally when making a snowball corner, you take your bigger piece of fabric and your smaller square, place them right sides together, and you mark a line on the square from corner to corner, and then you sew on the stitching line like I've done here and then you cut a quarter inch seam allowance and press this down to get your snowball corner and it's, it's it's a very simple technique however it can be very tedious because like I said you have to mark every single one of your squares that you're going to be snowballing into triangles and for some patterns, it's only a handful of them. But for example, for my jo Joyful Stars pattern, there's 128 squares that you have to mark, stitch, press. Um, mark, stitch, cut, and press. There we go. And that's just very tedious. It's a lot of them. So today I'm going to show you a quicker and faster way to sew them down and cutting your snowball triangles. Okay, so instead of marking every single one of my squares, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a marking onto my sewing machine using a washi tape uh, that will help me snowball those corners without having to mark my fabric. So what I do is I take a ruler. Uh, first of all, I make sure that my needle is down. And then I take a ruler and I squeeze it right up against that needle. And then I take my markings on the machine and the ruler I make sure that everything's lined up and then I take a handy dandy washi tape and take a nice long piece of it and place it down I don't go all the way up to my needle usually just kind of up towards where my bobbin is and then I make sure that it's nice and straight with this ruler a little bit off and there we go and then I just press it nice and down so it's not moving around on me next step is I take one of my squares my big squares and one of my smaller squares and place them right sides together in this case I'm using solids so it doesn't really matter and then I make sure that this corner up here meets where the needle is and that this corner right here meets the washi tape. I'm gonna put my foot down and I'm gonna go very slowly to show you all, but usually speed right through these. So now that I have made sure that those corners match, I start sewing. Oh, that's a little too slow. And the entire time, I'm feeding this, I am making sure that this corner stays with the washi tape. And, oops, and here you can see I have a beautiful 45 degree angle stitching on here. And then I am going to cut this and then press it and I have all of them. So the other part that can be quite tedious when making snowball corners is trimming the back so that you have this nice quarter inch seam allowance before pressing. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I like to speed that process up. So what I do is I take my snowball pieces that have already been sewn and I line up my stitching with the lines on my cutting mat. So make sure that the top is lining up with that line and same with the bottom and then I take a second piece and do the same thing this time I line up my stitching on the top with the stitching on the bottom piece and then I make sure that my bottom it matches up with that same line and I continue stacking them like that so stitching with the top stitching with the bottom line And you can truly stack however many you feel comfortable stacking. Um, I usually do no more than six or eight at a time. 
Oh, you can see, so I'm going to take one out so you can see the next part. Um, six or eight at a time, I've done as few as four, as many as eight. It just kind of depends on how big the pieces are and how big of a ruler you have. Um, I've seen people do as many as like 20 of these. So really, it just depends on your ruler and the size of your pieces. So then the next step is I take my ruler and I'm going to match up this quarter inch line with my stitching. Just like so. And then I'm going to take my rotary cutter and cut. And you do have to press down kind of hard, especially in the middle because you have a lot of layers. But there we go. There is um, six of them cut all at once in a fraction of the time. And the next step would be pressing these open or to the side, however you like, like so. Um, sadly, there isn't really a trick for that part, but um, these two tips, using the washi tape and cutting multiple um, snowball corners at once, speeds up the process significantly. I hope you enjoyed this video.